Hello, beautiful people of the interwebs, it's your host with the most icy hair, and today is a different video than you might expect, but don't worry, the random nonsense will resume tomorrow. Now, um, what is this video? Well, Sunvi, one of my fans, had requested that I do a how to upload to YouTube tutorial, so that's what we're going to do today. This is a process I go through on how you upload. Now, first thing you need is a game you want to record and something to record it with. Also, before I get too much into this, uh, shout out to Gummy Man. I promised I would give you a shout out, so here's your shout out, man. Uh, and anybody who isn't interested in this kind of stuff, you know, regular uh, nonsense will be back tomorrow, like I said. So, first thing you need is something to record with, and that's where this program, Action by Marillis, comes into play. We'll uh, take a look at their website real fast here, and this is where you can get it. Marillis Action. I don't need a remote, but that will help me get to their website. So this is the website for their product, and it's a, it's one of my favorites. I'll go over some of the features in a minute, but you get you can get a free trial of it. And when you're ready to buy it, um, now this is the important part. If you're just making videos for fun, then you go ahead and get this uh, home use license. But if you're monetizing your videos, you have to buy a commercial license. That's important. Okay. And yeah, it's a really good software. It's they release regular updates and things like that. So why I like this program? Well, for this feature right here, it splits your recordings into multiple tracks, which we'll talk about in a minute. And it also has a bunch of different options. As a matter of fact, let me see if I could get another one that's not recording up. Another instance of the program? No. Okay, I can't open another instance of the program to show you like the different options, but you could do it in an MP4 and AVI. I always do it in an AVI and then render it afterwards. Um, it also allows for live streaming, which is pretty cool. You could do audio recordings, benchmarks for your games, screenshots, and then all these other settings in here that are pretty awesome. Something else cool that you can do is you can export the file, which I personally never really use this feature, but maybe I should try it sometime and then it will be YouTube ready right like that. So that's pretty cool. I think there's also a direct upload to YouTube feature. You can also sh uh, share it to Facebook, I think, and then as a file. So yeah, those are your different uh, options down there. You can watch the files from right in here, and you could also connect a your smartphone and use it as a remote start if you don't, if like, I don't know why you would do that, but you can set your hotkeys over here and yeah I might try to export feature but that's not really something I do I just take the raw files and then put them right into my uh, video editing software but I don't know maybe it's faster through here I might try that sometime but it's not a feature I use but I like it because I can split the audio files into multiple tracks now what exactly is that well let's open the video editing software I use I use Sony Vegas Movie Studio Platinum 13 now, sometimes it causes issues with Marillus if I open them at the same time. Might get a crap. Nope, it didn't crash this time. I know sometimes I have to close it. Now, why do I like this? Because it's pretty much everything I need. Some people say Vegas Pro is better, which it has a lot more features, but nothing that I would really use. You have your transitions in here. You could do effects, media generators, and other things like that. Now, what do you do? Well, what I start by doing is I select everything and delete all these because I like it to start blank. Then you go ahead and get your footage. Um, I'm going to delete these two because those are the pre-rendered files. Now, um, I record to a separate hard drive. That's something important. As you can see, this is my uh, one terabyte hard drive right here. It's separate from all my other drives. I have my system drive here, then my drive with all my games here. Oops. And that's just so that way you can keep everything good. Now we're going to go ahead and drag in this footage from another day. Whack your boss. And when you drag it in, it's going to build your audio peaks here. Now something else you also want. Um, I'll talk about this now. I have my CPU clocked to 4.5 gigahertz. That helps me to render things pretty quickly. Because you're going to want to render quickly. Even though it says maximum C to 3.7. Trust me, it's overclocked. Now, I record my, my microphone audio through an audio box USB and it records it to a single channel. So what you need to do to fix that is you go to advanced, you unselect everything, you select your microphone track and then you have to combine it so that way it's just both tracks in the middle. So that way you get a center image instead of having your audio just to the left. The next thing I always do is I select my video track, especially for first person shooters and you want to disable resample. 
it's not really good for video games i don't know why but i know it just helps with things and then you're gonna want to trim up your audio to the very start of where the first sound happens um you can go ahead and do that there see how i have a little blank space i want to make it a little shorter so i would go ahead and do that bring it more towards the beginning and then again i check the ending and make sure i ended it pretty close to the end yeah, it's pretty good. You always want to leave a little space so that way your voice isn't the last thing they hear. Next, um, since we already did our two things in advanced mode, I always bring this up 3 dB. By that number represented there, right around 3 dB. And I know what to look for. Um, now, um, I'm not going to play the sound from in here because I don't want like you guys to go deaf or anything from hearing this audio because it's not mixed down. But then I go back to simple mode. Then from here, I lower the game audio. I always put my vocals up 3 dB. So 3 overall when you're in advanced mode, it sticks, trust me. And then about 3 dB over here. Then I set my game audio so that way it's it's lower and my voice is audible over the whole thing. Now something you can do after a while you get used to the sound, something you can do is have your uh, volume mixer up and you want it to hit up there. I mean, if you really want a good indication, you can have this up and make sure your audio doesn't clip, which is where it will turn red up there. But honestly, um, you'll know what sounds good if, you're, if your thing's clipping. Now, a way that you can tell it's clipping is if you zoom into the waveforms here. This kind of advanced stuff, but I'm going in detail for the person who wants to know. You can see like there, the waveforms are cut off a little, so you can tell that it clipped there. But that was me not gaining my microphone correctly, but honestly, it doesn't make a difference. The audio quality is still good. Now, you just want to make sure you can hear yourself. Then, after you have these set to a good level, like I know for this video, because of the sound levels, just by looking at it, I'm going to need probably like a negative 15-ish. And that will be a good mix. Then you're going to go ahead and click make movie. If you want to add effects in here, that's up to you. I always do save to my hard drive. I never upload directly from here. I use the MP4. I name it and then it saves onto the onto the dedicated video hard drive. It will give you an estimated, but yeah, MP4 gives you the 1080p internet resolution. So then after it's done, it's going to go ahead and save to your hard drive. You're going to go into your hard drive. Uh, I save mine to a folder called rendered videos. You're going to watch it back and especially if you're combining multiple video clips together, if you had to stop your recording for a second, you're going to want to watch it back. Make sure that your video editing software um, didn't leave a blank black spot for a few seconds. Sometimes that happens, but if you have a higher end CPU, that should never happen. You're going to watch it back. You're going to make sure the audio is good. Then that's where we go to YouTube. Yay. You click the upload button on your channel. And when you upload it, I just drag in my video file. And then it's going to upload. Now, me, I personally have pretty fast internet. I get about 25 megabits, megabits, megabytes, I don't know, per second uh, upload on good days. Um, you're going to go through here. You're going to set your title, your description, and your video tags. You're also going to want to add it to a playlist. Send out a message. Make it public if you want. Then um, if you're partnered, you get monetization options. I... My my personal rule is if it's 20 minutes or longer, I do the 30 seconds. If it's not, then I don't click that 30 second button because I don't think viewers should have to watch 30 second ads on a video that's less than 20 minutes. <laughs> that's that's my personal belief, though. And you could set your defaults over here. Mine automatically sets to gaming. You don't really have to do a video location or a date. Um standard youtube license all that fun stuff then that will upload and then it will get pushed live to your subscribers so that's person that's the process i do when i go ahead and upload to youtube um hopefully that was helpful to you guys um sun v since you had asked me and then after you're done you just delete that from your rendered videos after you watch it back on youtube make it sure it's good and you delete the source files so yeah that's the process i use i'll leave a link to the video editing software I use as well as the recording software I use and if you guys have any other questions then feel free to leave it down in the comments I replied all you guys I'm more than happy to help if you have a specific question for your setup I can try if you want to know what gear I use personally like my microphone or how I have that set up my headset anything like that feel free to ask um, Hopefully you guys found this useful. If you liked it, remember to like it. If you disliked it, then dislike it. Um, I know that this might not be everybody's cup of tea. You might want my gameplay videos. Don't worry, those will be back tomorrow. I did promise Sun V that I was going to do this video for a while, and I decided to do it tonight. 
So, yeah. Um, and leave a comment down below. Like I said, if you think of this would help a friend, go ahead and share it with them or add to your favorites. Both of those things help so much. If you're new to the channel, subscribe because uh, that helps us hit our next subscriber milestone for more awesome giveaways and stuff. I know you guys love that. Like I said, check the description down below for where you can go get your own copy of uh, Marilla's Action or Sony Movie Studio Platinum 13. Yeah, because they're, they're both good programs and they get the job done. You don't really need anything more than that. And they also offer free trials, so you you can use those free trials. And then if if it's something you really enjoy after those 30 days, I think each one's 30 days, then you can go ahead and buy it yourself. Anyways, guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helped you out. And till next time, this has been Icy. You all stay awesome. Peace.